we have this third mobile pcb here and i will show you how you can troubleshoot a mobile phone that is not powering on and you are getting that reading on your dc power supply so if you take a look you will see that it goes up above 100 milliampere and then comes back to 83 and it will be stopped there so i have i have videos about this also you can learn that step by step from my book the block diagram master or from my professional level course but for this video i will show you exactly how you can troubleshoot that problem so when you see that that fault near this power supply it means that the cpu is not fully initializing it tries to initialize then something is stopping it may be a disconnection that's why you can see i'm removing the cpu here that's what we call open circuit there is an open circuit there are times that uh, it will be a firmware damage but in this case we just go ahead then you can see i'm cleaning the, the solder part on the pcb i'm just trying to make sure that every part is clean so that when we are revolving mounting the ic will be sure that every pin will connect as you can see we have some other pins that are kind of gray right there we need to fix those pins it will be okay but just to be sure that after reballing everything is well connected you have to fix those other pins that are kind of black right there so take a look at what i do i just add that solder there just to make sure that they are shiny all the pins are shiny and you get well, if you want my courses, you can get my courses right now with a 60% discount that's going to expire soon. So make sure that you grab this by sending me a message on WhatsApp using the number on the screen. You can get my basic level course or my professional level course. Or maybe if you need my book, you can get my complete blog diagram master book with, uh, with 83 pages for just $19. You will study every single blog diagram and you will study how to determine where to check when you are getting uh, a particular reading on a DC power supply. So as you can see, I'm cleaning the solder parts of the PCB, making sure that every part there is leveled, is the, has the same level with the other. Clean that, making sure that everything is clean. Well, if you are not good in in uh, reballing, I have dedicated videos on how you can reball, how you can reball with universal stencils. You can see this uh, a, a, a CPU, and we are going to use a universal stencil. And a lot of people are not even able to reball smaller ICs with a universal stencil. So I have a video about that, or you can watch this video, and you will also learn something from. Yeah. So as you can see, I clean. I was looking for a stencil but yeah, I don't have any dedicated stencil for for that uh, CPU so I had to have no option than to use the universal stencil so you can see the stencil is not available I have uh, more than 22 stencils here so the stencil was not available and here we have a universal stencil so we are going to use the universal stencil to clean. You can see the brush that I'm using to clean the universal stencil. Then we clean it, make sure that every every hole in the stencil is clear, no nothing obstructing the the holes right there. So you can see, you can see other parts. The the other parts are not matching, and that's okay. That's the universal stencil. That's how it's supposed to be. So the secret is applying the the, the solder. You have to 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 dry your solder at least. Switch your solder to dry so that when you are reballing, when you are heating, it won't it won't uh, contact the pins. Are not going to contact, especially those with with empty holes. They are not going to to melt off. And contact with other pins because the the solder wasn't dried off so the secret is to dry your solder and avoid pressing uh, pressing the stencil with your teaser too hard so you just try to to put your teaser just to maintain the position of the stencil you hit it just like that set your temperature that's my temperature as you can see there you set that temperature and everything will be good when you are reballing with a with a universal stencil so here we have the ic we just have to clean it just like that and very smooth 
you can see everything is clean all the pins are perfect all the pins are perfect so we go ahead and yeah we apply a little bit of paste I always say you don't have to uh, apply too much paste especially if your your hands are not that steady for you to be to be hitting the CPU while trying to adjust so I don't have that steady hand so I always make sure I apply a little bit of paste position the IC well then hit it then shake it just a little bit and everything will be good so yeah everything is good here let's uh, see if yeah we solve the problem and the phone is on just like that very smooth don't forget to follow subscribe for more videos and get my courses